Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Stock My Closet. Thanks a lot for your love and support. And please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and also click the bell icon to get the new video notification. Today I'm sharing drafting and cutting off short anarchy. And this is the measurement I'm using. You can adjust it according to your requirement. Firstly, I'll cut the bodies and for that I have folded the fabric in width. Now for shoulder, take half of your shoulder width. In my measurement, shoulder width is 13.5 inch, so half of it would be 6.75 inch. Now from this point, mark half inch downward for shoulder slope. And now for armhole, I'll take half of armhole round. In my measurement, armhole round is 14, so half of it would be 7. I am deducting half inch as this is sleeveless bodies and I will just extend this point. Now from this point mark 1.25 inch inwards and join these points. Neck width is 4 inch. And I'll join it to the shoulder slope point. Now I'll mark the length of bodies which is 13.5 inch. I'm adding seam allowance. And from the top mark a point at 10.5 inch. This is apex point. And I'll just extend these points. Now for chest, I'm adding 2 inch of ease. In my measurement, chest is 31 inch. So 31 plus 2 is 33 and dividing it by 4, I'll get 8.25 inch. For burst, I'm adding 3 inch of ease. In my measurement, burst is 32 inch. So 32 plus 3 is 35 and dividing it by 4, I'll get 8.75 inch. For waist, again I am adding 3 inch of ease. In my measurement, waist is 27 inch. So 27 plus 3 is 30 and dividing it by 4, I will get 7.5 inch. Now I will join these points. I am adding seam allowance. Now measure this line and mark the midpoint. This is around 6.5 inch so I'll mark a point at 3.25 inch and same point on this line. And from these points mark 1 inch diagonally and now I'll make the armhole curve. So this is the marking for bodies now I'll cut it. Now I'll mark the neckline and it's same for both front and back. 6 inch, I'm adding half inch for seam allowance. Again I'll mark the neck width point and I'll join these points. So this is the neckline. Now for front armhole curve, I'll just separate the back and I'll fold it again. Now I'll cut the front armhole curve. So I've cut the bodies. Now I'll cut the kalis. For kali or panel length, from the full length of kurti or dress, deduct bodies length, deduct border if you're adding any, and add seam allowance. Like in my measurement, full length of kurti is 35 inch. Bodies is 13.5 inch. I'll be adding 1.5 inch wide border and I'm adding 0 0.5 inch for seam lounge, 0 0.25 inch for both top and the bottom. So 35 minus 13.5 inch minus 1.5 inch and plus 0 0.5 inch, I'll get 20.5 inch. So this will be the length of the Kali. Now for Kali, 
width from the waist take waist round add ease and divide by total number of required or desired kalis you want and add seam allowance like in my measurement waist round is 27 inch i'm adding 3 inch of ease and i want 24 kalis so 27 plus 3 is 30 and dividing it by 24 I'll get 1.25 inch and I'll add 0 0.5 inch for seam allowance so 1.25 plus 0 0.5 is 1.75 inch so from waist curly width would be 1.75 inch now curly width from the bottom it's totally your choice I'm taking it 10 inch you can add more or deduct depending upon the quantity of fabric so this is the diagram for curly it's on fold from the center and curly width from waist we calculated 1.75 inch and while marking we'll divide it by 2 I'll mark 0 0.9 inch on waist and at the bottom curly width uh, we calculated is 10 inch dividing it by 2 I'll get 5 so here I'll mark 5 inch length is 20.5 inch now I'll quickly make the pattern so this is the paper and I have folded it from the center now I'll mark the curly width from the waist it's 1.75 inch just fold and mark the point on the measuring tape and mark the same point on the paper like this now I'll mark the length I'm taking half inch extra so I have marked the point at 21 inch and curly width on the bottom was 10 inch I have divided it by 2 and I have marked the point at 5 inch now I'll join these points Now join both these points with the curve ruler to get the proper fitting at the waist. You can also join them with the straight ruler but then you will get little bit loose fitting. Now I'll cut the pattern. So this is the curly for my kurti. Now I'll cut it on the fabric and for that I have folded the fabric in width. I'll just mark a straight line and I'll trim the uneven fabric. Now I'll place the curly. and I'll trace it so I've traced the curly now I'll cut it So I have cut the kali and two kalis are ready as this is on full fabric. Now I'll just flip the pattern and I'll place it like this and again I'll trace the kali and I'll cut it.
so i have got four colors now for the fifth one so now i'll just open this fabric as i can't cut kali on the folded fabric so i'll just open it like this and i'll place the pattern i'll trace it and i'll cut it so i have got five kali from one width of the fabric and similarly i'll cut rest of the kalis i'm using this contrast fabric as in border at the bottom of the kurti to cut the border i have folded the fabric twice in width and i'll cut straight strips from the fabric border width is 1.5 inch i'm adding half inch for seam allowance so 1.5 inch plus 0.5 inch will be 2 inch now double the width as i'll attach the double border at the bottom so 2 plus 2 is 4 and i have marked the point at 4 inch now i'll cut the strips of same measurement like this and i'll cut it i'll attach these strips to make a long one strip to use it as a border at the bottom of my kurti and with this cutting off my kurti is completed i'll share the stitching in my next video thanks for watching hope you like this video if you do please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel for more such videos i'll see you soon till then take care bye bye